Hey everyone, this is Max, and today we are going to do a quick tutorial on the Samsung Galaxy Note S3 scrapbook application. The scrapbook application comes standard on your Samsung Galaxy Note S3 and allows you to collect information across your device. So basically anything from pictures, information from emails, information from applications, websites, and whatnot. All right, so how do we collect these notes? I don't want to call them scraps, so we're going to call them notes. Well, you basically open an application or wherever you want to collect information. And there's basically two ways to do this. One is to hold the S Pen down, or if you remove your S Pen and launch Air Command, and click Scrapbooker. From there, you'll see the blue, um, the blue over your pen and just draw symbol. And voila. Okay, and then from there you can write a memo. Um, the memo unfortunately isn't searchable, um, and I'll show you that later. So if I write a memo here, um, you won't be able to search this later. The tag, however, on the other hand, um, is quite useful. But um, I'm going to show you the nuances of this particular um, of this particular future. So once you click future um, shopping, make sure you also click plus. That has saved it on there. If you did not click this beforehand, it will not save that tag. Voila, save to scrapbook. All right, so scrapbook. So here um, you can see that it has saved it with the tag of shopping. And um, this is a little bit tricky um, because unfortunately here, um, now that we see shopping, oh, there it is, I'm sorry. Now. Um, the tricky thing is, it has to be the same case. Um, you can see here, there's a lowercase m and an uppercase m. So if you do not tag the same things using the same case, it is saved as separate things. So capital M um, yields Yuna, um, one of my favorite singers. And lowercase m um, has another note um, with Eminem's CD. So when you start using this more and more, uh, make sure you use the same casing on your tags. Um, another way you can tag a particular picture is to open it. Um, let's see, let's open this one. Buy. And from here, you have the option of selecting tags. And from there, all of your preset tags that you have made already, you can select that and click Done. And now our item is marked as shopping. So that's pretty useful too. Um, and let me tell you a little bit about categories. Um, categories is just another way to categorize things um, in addition to tags. Um, tags are more useful for searching, whereas categories allows you to separate things met, um, into bigger sections. Now to separate things into categories, you just select whichever item you want right click, you can also use your pen for that, um, move, and now you have the option of moving it into whatever category you want. And you also have the option of creating a new category. You're like, Max, Max, what's going on? I have, uh, I have a bunch of things and I want to search for one particular thing that I wanted to buy for someone. All right. Well, now that we have tagged Danny Kane with shopping, let's go ahead and search for it. Search using S Finder. S Finder, you launch using Air Command. So hold down your pen, or if you haven't, just take out your pen and launch S Finder. And from here, you can see um, the things that we have marked here, shopping. And you can see here, it makes a difference between capital M and lowercase m. Voila. Okay, so here we have six scrapbooks, and there we have Danity Kane. And once you touch that, it will actually launch into the application. That's pretty much the basics of Scrapbook. Um, it's it's pretty useful. Um, one of the things I don't um, like about it is this small m, big m um, search function where, I mean, come on, really? You can't figure out that it's the same thing? Um, That's one of the things I don't like. Um, and other than that, you don't have, um, this is limited to your device. Whereas other things like Pocket, if you use Pocket and you save something to Pocket, you can use, you can search for it and use it on your browser. But 
you can um, browser is limit or pocket is limited to certain things um, like websites and YouTube videos whereas S Pen you really have the option of taking screenshots anywhere whether it's through an application um, something you want to watch later and whatnot so you, yeah um, whew, okay, I was trying to keep this under five minutes. So if you have any questions, please post them in the comment section. Sorry for babbling. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any questions or have a topic for a particular video, post it in the comment section. See you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.